Hey everyone, welcome back. I decided in this video today I was going to do one of my buzz bait videos, power buzz baiting, something I absolutely love to do. Very, very productive way of fishing and finding fish. Especially in the summertime, action can be incredible on these things. Uh, it's just so much fun to see a fish come up, blow up on your bait, take it under. There's really nothing better. It's a great way to cover a lot of water. We had a tournament for the high school. Kef and I are actually coaches, and we went to an unfamiliar lake, and he needed me to help. So I went on one end of the lake, and he went on the other. So I decided to use uh, buzzbait to try to locate oh, fish. Oh, what a pig, Toby. What an absolute giant. Now, obviously, I'm being a little facetious here with the size of the fish, but this is just such a great way to locate them, catch them, and you will catch a lot of big fish, too. But this is just to try to find out which area of the lake the fish are really held up in. In this situation, we're fishing a lot of grass, uh, a lot of muck, and uh, the fish seem to be blown in the back of here. We had a really strong northeast wind this day, and these fish were really loaded in the backs. Now, what makes this so much fun, especially for me, is you can just cast and cast and cast. You don't have to be super accurate with the cast. Uh, especially early in the mornings, these fish are traveling, they're roaming, looking for bait. Uh, the wind doesn't really matter so much either. You want a little bit of ripple on the water, yet at the same time, you don't want rollers coming in either. But as you can tell, I try to get several, several casts in within a minute, and I'm able to cover an entire cove within just five to 10 minutes usually, and cover it pretty accurately. The actual buzz bait I'm using is sort of like an inline tandem buzz bait. It is actually, I don't believe it's uh, any longer made. It was from an old closeout bait shop. Not that it's anything super special or anything. I do enjoy fishing with it. I've caught a lot of fish on it, but buzz baits are typically about the same across the board. Once again, you, all you want to do is just cover as much water as possible. When you catch a fish, hurry up, get it in. If it's not a keeper, detach it and go back to casting. This is the best way to find fish early. You are wanting to cover as much water as possible and as little a time as possible. And there is no better bait than this right here. This spot right here is kind of a gimme. I knew I was going to get bit somewhere in this little mouth. There was a couple sides of grass and then there was a middle which I drag it down right now and being that all the bait and everything is being blown in here it makes for a perfect place for a fish to actually uh, ambush bait of this kind and as you've seen on that video it actually hit rather close to the boat but I actually believe I missed one in here just before that cast if I'm not mistaken and they were just loaded up in the mouth of this little creek When it comes to color, I really don't like to get away from white too often. I will use a black buzz bait on cloudy conditions or in really, really muddy water. But as far as 
that goes. The blades don't seem to matter too much to me, but I like to keep it kind of color of the bait, white, maybe a white and chartreuse sometimes. Uh, I would definitely go with any shad patterns, clear, anything of that sort. And I, I enjoy throwing double buzzes, single buzzes, click clack buzz baits. I can, I feel confident throwing all of them when I, whenever I'm uh, fishing buzz baits. I actually catch a really nice fish on the other side of this tree, a little bit bigger fish. He came in at just under four pounds, I believe. Um, he was just laid back and this log made a nice little windbreaker for him and unfortunately you can't see the splash because my hand was in the way. But you can tell by the bend in the rod and I'm struggling a little more with him than I was with the others that this is a nice, nice fish. We'd love to have this in the tournament anytime. He, like I said, he's, he's a good one. And definitely buzz baits are capable of catching really big fish like this. I have caught them in early in the mornings. I've caught them at noon. One of my biggest bass ever came around noon on a double buzz bait. So I know they'll hit it at all times of the day. I like this shot because I'm fishing right next to a bluff wall. And this grass I actually prefer because it's actually subsurface and I can run the buzz bait over the top of it. I get a real close bite right here. Very great shot of a fish coming up and hitting the bait from behind and taking it under. It wasn't a bad little fish. Wasn't as big as the last one, but still, you know, a nice size fish. And this was getting closer to 10 o'clock in the morning, so nice they will hit. Don't think that it's just a sunrise bait. Well, this is going to go down as the shot of the day. I'm actually in the evening and I went up to a muddier lake actually on the windy side of some riprap and I enjoy paralleling the banks when I can. These conditions presented themselves and I couldn't help myself and I actually get bit really close to the boat here. I'm not sure if the fish was tailing the bait and decided to hit it at the last second or if he was, I ran it right over his head at the last second. But if you'll see here in just a second, he's getting ready to hit it. Right there. And he was a nice one. This was a close to three pound fish, and on this lake, a three pound yeah, fish is really something. That's what we're looking so, for. I was glad That's to get him. One. And like I said, these baits are hard to beat. It's an evening bite, and man, I love doing that. So keep hitting right at the boat. Said is no fluke. And here, just for spite, I had to throw in the bonehead fishing play of the day. I get bit way out here, as you can see. Set the hook, and I get a little bit cocky, actually. I told Toby I'm going to boat flip this fish, and it was another Great nice one along these rocks. I go to flip him, oh, no, and he didn't. comes off. <laughs> if I was in a tournament, <laughs> sorry, I'd have been pretty buddy. upset with myself. But usually in that situation, I'd also have somebody netting Not the like fish, and I would have played him a little bit longer. One. But like I said, That's Toby was disappointed, and as was I. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And if you have any comments or suggestions, if you'd like to suggest a buzzbait for me to try, leave it down in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys later.